My name is Bernadette Insel. Well, I had terminal cancer. And I'm really, really blessed because my family is there for me. 100% seven days a week. And I'm happy that I can be here because the time that we have together is quality. It's not somebody constantly having to worry about the next five minutes and what has to be done. I can't think of my mom without having a smile on my face. Even in the depths of Alzheimer's, she was the happiest person I know. Hospice became involved after my mother's um, cancer could no longer be treated. And she was on hospice for about a month. They're getting the best medical care possible during this stage of their life. Having a team of specialists, medical specialists, social workers, spiritual counselors, can help guide the patient and the family through this time course. They don't have to worry about taking on the caregiver role. They can be here with family and they can focus on simply being family. I could sit back then and just enjoy my mother knowing that there was someone taking care of her and I could just spend the last two years of her life enjoying her. The biggest thing that I feel that Munson Hospice gave to my mom was the ability to leave this earth with grace and dignity. She left with a smile on her face, very peaceful and happy. This is the last gap, and we know that. And it's a good place to come for the end. There are no words to describe this place. Uh, we are so, so blessed. Anyone working in here is working in here is because what they love to do, and it shows. Munson Hospice gave my mom the care that she needed and also gave her enough love to prepare her for what was to come. They were personally invested in what we were going through and personally invested in our loved one, and almost like they loved them too. <laughs> you know, they, they so deeply cared about them. You can just tell. When someone cares, Having Munson Hospice House here available to us in Traverse City doesn't just impact the patients and their families, it impacts everybody in the community. Everybody in the community knows somebody or will experience at some point themselves or with a loved one the experience of end of life. It's going to happen to all of us. And so it's a resource that we're fortunate to have to receive excellent care and the right support and guidance during a difficult and sometimes very complicated time. We, our patients and our patients' families, are very appreciative to all the support from our donors. A place like this is not possible without their support. You couldn't put your, place, your money in a better place. I mean, every dime that you spend donating to a place like this, you get back a hundred times over again. Even if you never use one minute of it, you always know someone that has. When you support hospice, the impact of that is across generations. And so that support is, lives on.